cloud is changing wireless for good. Why does wireless have to be stuck in the 20th century? Everything we do is designed to turn the wireless industry on its head. So now you understand a little bit clearer why our competition is scared shitless. There's been a huge transformation on the network. It opens up a ton of new doors for us. Fastest, fastest growing, and the most advanced LTE today is coming from T-Mobile. When you ask customers what they want, and you give it to them, they love it. This company, above any other, puts our customers first. Now I'd like to introduce the magenta man, Peter DeLuca. Peter, come on up. Here's this. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you. Look at welcome. Magenta. Take care. Good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm Peter DeLuca. I'm with T-Mobile. And uh, I just took the red eye in from Seattle. So if I'm a little tired, I apologize. But I wanted to share with you uh, one thing from last night. Of course, it was Halloween. And this is all about video. And if you can see my house, I take it to the level of using digital, even in my own home, to make sure we create that haunted environment. But really what I'm here to talk to you today about is T-Mobile and being the uncarrier. And I'm going to take you uh, on a, a bit of a journey and talk about the brand that just five years ago was losing over a million customers every single year. We just reported our third quarter earnings uh, a couple weeks ago. We have our 18th quarter of 1 million plus customers every single quarter. How did we do that? What did we do to, to, to build that consumers are coming to us. We call it the uncarrier, and really back five years ago, there were four sort of key players in the marketplace, all sort of going to market the same way. It's all about rate plans, it's all about devices, but we said, we're losing. We're losing customers. We have to do something different, which is where we established what is our strategy, and we call it the uncarrier. Whatever, our, whatever we call the carriers, the guys on the other side do, at T-Mobile, we like to undo, and we do it with a very, very focused purpose. And that purpose is we really are focusing on the customer. The customer is front and center in everything that we do. We took a step back and said the way that we are conducting business isn't good enough in the environment that we're in. And what we need to do is go and solve the pain of the category. You all have cell phones. Everybody loves their cell phone. Everybody loves their device but hates their carrier. We had to fundamentally turn that around. We have to become the carrier or the brand that people love. And how we go about doing it is looking squarely in the eyes of our customers and listening to what their needs are and going off and fixing them. And this task, I mean, over the past four years, there's a lot of things that consumers told us that they wanted to have fixed. Everything from annual contracts. You can thank T-Mobile that the wireless category today, you no longer have to have a service contract if you want unlimited data. You can get that at T-Mobile. You no longer have to wait two years to upgrade your phone. If you just think back, that, that was the process of what we all had to deal with just four years ago. And today, we've, take, we've broken down that barrier. But we've taken these, and we've turned them into really strong propositions in the marketplace. Our last being that on our unlimited uh, data plans, taxes and fees are included. So there's no bill shock, there's no surprise, there's no added fees or taxes at the end of the month. If it says $40 when you sign up for it, it's gonna be $40 on the bill when you get it at night. But of course, unlimited, I mean, you all are consumers and you all watch TV every day and there's probably every third commercial is something talking about an unlimited data plan. But we had to, again, differentiate how we went to market. And we've just added that with our unlimited, unlimited data plans, if you have two lines with us, you now get Netflix included. And it's not just Netflix on your phone, it's Netflix anywhere you want to view Netflix. So again, we've sort of upped the game. We've, we've given consumers what they wanted. Our consumers said they want content. We're not content curators. I'm not going in the business of creating more, creating content on behalf of entertainment. There are lots of people that do that. What we need to do is provide the access to the entertainment consumers want. 
one other piece of the puzzle. Wireless, while it's a national game, it's one in the local markets, and it's one with network. And T-Mobile, for the past five years, has been completely rebuilding our network. We went from zero pops of LTE to over 321 million pops of LTE today. And we just uh, spent $8 billion on additional spectrum that we're going to be deploying over the course of 2018 and 2019, which is going to basically cover the entire US in all markets across the country. So network is a, is a very critical piece of the puzzle about how you go to market. But my job is I have to shape the brand. And I have to bring the brand to life every single day. We have to, we have to bring in over 500,000 customers to T-Mobile doors every single day and get at least 1.4 million people to visit our website. So putting the story together, you really have to think well beyond the traditional means about going about that. But because the story is so big, I'm going to start with like the largest platform and, and talk a little bit about how we went to market on the Super Bowl last year. And it's a really, it's a really interesting story. When we, when we decided that we were going to do the Super Bowl, we said we're going to do two 30-second spots. Well, in the end, we ended up spending, we, we ended up doing three minutes of time because we started to create content. Some of the content was social content that ended up actually going on TV on national broadcast. Because today's content, it doesn't really matter if it starts as a broadcast TV spot or if it starts as a social idea or if it starts, it could be on our website. If it's really good content, we want to find the right placements for it. And uh, we went pretty big at the game. I am going to show you one uh, video. And coming from Washington, I thought this one might be appropriate. Six new unlimited data, taxes and fees included. It's everything. You might even say it's all that in a bag of purple cushy throw pillows. No, I was thinking. Herb roasted lamb chops? No, a bag of greenery for your topiary garden. No. Hot. Mm -mm. Cannabis. Uh, maybe. Smartphone sweaters? It keeps your unlimited data cozy. I like that. It's all that and more. T-Mobile One, all unlimited, now with taxes and fees included. So the Super Bowl is about running ads on TV, but the way that we approach the Super Bowl is not necessarily just that. It was engagement with our target and our audience, getting them to do something more than just watch us on TV, because really, we call it the second screen. Everybody has their phones with them or they have their iPads with them. So the way that we approached it is a full onslaught of going against the target audience of, of the Super Bowl fan and really engaging them all day long. And in terms of just our category, we dominated the social conversation in terms of the, all the wireless carriers. And we generated impressive, you know, billions of impressions and lots of views. But, but really what we said is, and we had set a goal, like we wanted to be the most socially talked about brand on the Super Bowl. And when you, and not on Twitter, this is an aggregation of YouTube, Twitter, Facebook. T-Mobile actually led all Super Bowl conversations as it related to the advertisements last year. And, it, and it's important, it was very purposeful. We had Justin Bieber open up his Instagram account, which I guarantee you helped drive a lot of, that, of those numbers, and it was okay. But the key thing about it is the Super Bowl is no longer, or content is no longer just running it on the Super Bowl. You have to like really think well beyond that. And the way that I talk about it, and the way I approach my team, and the way we approach just thinking about creative is, everything has to be beyond the 30 second spot. You have to think differently. Consumers are no longer going to tune in like they once did. They have their devices. And content has to be different. You cannot serve broadcast advertising in social feeds. You have to create unique and different content. Now, they can be related to each other, but they can't, they, they, you, we really do need to focus them and be much more dynamic and learn. And there's a lot of learning that we've uh, uh, taken, uh, taken away from uh, the social channels. Like, you don't really need, well, consumers won't watch, let's just say that, more than six seconds of content. So how do you apply that rule and start to think about it? How do you, how do you get to the essence of your message in, in less and less time? So with Netflix, as we, I talked about, we launched Netflix uh, just about three, three weeks ago. And we used this as a platform 
to really say, okay, it's a highly engaged content uh, that consumers are, uh, they view all the time. What can we do with that and how can we leverage it? So we worked with Fox as a partner of ours and took the whole idea of six second creative and put it on the air. And uh, I'm gonna show you how we actually executed it. This is the first time that an advertiser actually used a product to be featured in a six second spot uh, on TV. We're coming up. Two minute warning. Broncos lead by seven on the move again. First down to the 19 when we come back. T Mobile Unlimited Family Plans now include Netflix on us. T Mobile Family Plans now come with Netflix included. That's huge. That's right. T Mobile's got your Netflix subscription covered when you get a family plan with two or more lines. Really? That's incredible. So go ahead and watch however you want. You listen to me, right? All at no extra charge. <laughs> Another reason why T-Mobile is America's best unlimited network. Mic drop. That's right, T-Mobile unlimited family plans now include Netflix on us. So leveraging social tactics, sorry, it's going back into the game, I'm going to the over that. Uh, leveraging social tactics and bringing them into uh, the broadcast environment. What I'm showing you here is an example of how uh, we've approached retail. And retail is very different. This is a store of ours in New York City. We actually have five of these stores across the country because wireless is not necessarily like an inviting place to go. And like I said, uh, 500,000 people have to walk in our doors every day. So how do we take what is sort of a staid way where you have to go and sign up for contracts and make it a much more immersive environment? We're leveraging the digital platforms to help us do that, to bring consumers in. That out-of-home board that you see on top of our store actually becomes a place where selfies get posted every single day. And we're refining how we do it. Uh, this is an example of before it was a, you sort of did it in a one-on-one -on -one environment yourself. We now have our in-store reps actually engaging with consumers and helping them through the process where it's now a conversation about creating content and showing them how to put it up on the screen. And then within 10 minutes, they can go outside and actually see themselves on the in Times Square, which is a, is a great example. But, you know, Five stores is not gonna make a whole retail exchange. So what we've done is we've taken some practices where we've brought in digital display to our front windows and digital within at least 2,000 of our stores today. And this really gives us the opportunity to no longer have to wait six weeks to get a printed item to our store. I can change that message same day if I have to. Plus I can turn it into to Spanish if we need to, uh, uh, have a bilingual store. We also have the ability to customize it by market and we have the ability to time, time stamp so we can do different things in the morning versus what we do in the afternoon. We also uh, leverage out of home and we do out of home for lots of different reasons. One, it gives us a great platform to talk about our network message, but being the magenta person, it's also a very branded moment. Undeniably, when people walk in across the country and they see the bright magenta, they clearly begin to think it must be a T-Mobile ad. And what we've, we, we do, we bring it to bear network messages, and as the day progresses, we will then run product messages, and then we'll default back to network messages. This depends on where we go, but we do time of day within all of our uh, environments, as well as using Times Square. Again, bringing content. Each piece is unique to the environment and, and the boards that we run in. While the messages may be the same, how we approach the individual execution is individualized content. We also have been in programmatic, and for back to school, the way that we approached it was in 10 markets, we found uh, drive paths to and from schools uh, as one out of home medium, and then in malls on the weekend when parents were shopping with their children. What happened was you would see these ads, you were then retargeted a very specific message on a mobile device. So we're really kind of going across the ecosystem to leverage how we approach. And we're able to customize by individual market and also specific offers through, uh, through uh, the retargeting program. Events have become a very large part of our brand. And this was sort of a visualization when we said, gosh, we could go and do something at our Times Square store and it could look like this. Or if I wanted to go big, it could look like this. And we actually took the approach of going super big. 
Because if I'm going to do something at a small scale within a store, why not broadcast it and make it something super dynamic and very engaging? And again, so well branded that we basically turn Times Square magenta for the day. I'm going to talk a little bit about Major League Baseball. Again, we're partners with, with baseball. We sponsor the Home Run Derby. Well, the Home Run Derby this past year was in Miami. But we said, God, what, what other ways can you do to engage fans beyond TV? Well, we, did, we brought it to Times Square. We brought it to the top of our, of our store. We engaged consumers. And again, what do I judge? Is this working or not working? But what we find is we get so much social love when we do things like this because it's just yet something new and different for the consumers to experience in ways that they hadn't thought about. And it's a way, again, to, to showcase the property with Major League Baseball and with home runs. And you'll see these are just some of the tweets that we got. But we also have taken home runs a little bit further. And uh, right now we have a program in market called HR for HR, Home Runs for Hurricane Recovery. And I will say this postseason, the home run has been, it's, uh, it, I don't even know if it's the World Series or if it's the home run series this year because it's been quite, there's over 103 home runs I believe hit so far. But again, that's what the players were doing. How could we engage the customer to participate in this? So we said, tweet. You tweet at us, we have over 600,000 tweets, and it's amazing as the game progresses, the 10 o'clock time slot, we got like 40,000 tweets last night just during that one time slot because people really get engaged and consumers are participating. We donate $2 for every tweet uh, that people have been participating, so we're gonna be well close to $3 million when this all, well, depends, depends on the home runs tonight, but we got game seven coming. Thank you very much. So lastly, I'm going to go back to my magenta point where our signs have become part of culture, I think. This is New Year's Eve on CNN. Two Saturdays ago, I woke up when game day was in Times Square. I'm like, oh my gosh, did I sponsor that? No, no. my board just happens to be there prominently displayed for the, the two and a half hours that game day was on that day. And our message kept reoccurring. It was my, my phone blew up that day. So. Does all this work? I sort of gave you the punchline at the beginning. We grew from 33 million customers back in 2012 to over 71 million customers at the close of Q3. The brand, it's working in the marketplace. We still have a lot more to do, and as we like to say at T-Mobile, we really won't stop. I thank you for your time this morning, and I think we have a couple seconds for a few questions. Three hours of sleep? Yes. <laughs> That's fantastic. I think Francois de Gaspé Bobian, our, our chairman, has a question for you. Well, I'll, I'll shout. All right. Uh, oh, Peter. well, we'll get you a mic. But I think Peter can hear you, and I'll repeat it. So, Peter, you are obviously innovating tremendously, and congratulations on your results. You're obviously innovating tremendously, and congratulations on your results. You're talking to an audience of marketers and people who are passionate as you are about the evolving landscape with the consumer. Can you help us understand, as you continue to evolve, digital play space, digital out of home, mobile, how do you see that unfolding going forward, if you could take it like a year look ahead? Well, I, I, number one, I, the way that we've been thinking about it is, we want to be where the consumers are, and we want to we touch them at any given point. So again, if they're watching TV, I want to be where they're watching TV but not everybody's watching TV, as we all know. Mobile devices provide us opportunities to be very direct and very specific because I can target my own customers with very different messages than, than potential prospects. But then you look out, and I truly believe it's the connecting of all the dots that are going to start to make this. And I talked a little bit about programmatic, and it's in its infancy, and we just started to test it. But it's really learning. The fact that I can serve you one message on one platform and then retarget you with a different message more specific offer-based message. That is the future, but it is connecting all the dots, I truly believe. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank Peter very much, and we'll see you maybe Cam Lyon again. I hope. That'd be great. Fabulous. Take care. Take care.